This is the Arla All-Star Week, a showcase of the best talent in Arla competition, hosted at the Green Valley 540. Today's All-Star races are of the Mortar Sportsman Series and the Slug Oil Thunder Trucks. The pole sitter for the Sportsman race was the number 15 driven by Matt Underwood. Underwood got off to a great start and quickly shot to a big lead over the number 7 of Mark Chase. Caution 1 flew in lap 5. Frank Quiles is going to be tagged by Johnny Taylor and both cars go spinning. Jeff Lente is going to come and tag the 18. Lente would fall off the pace for the rest of the day while Quiles and Taylor would keep going without a problem. Matt Underwood would once again pull out to a big lead on the restart, but on lap 9, the caution flew once again. A group of cars decides to go four wide through the hairpin. This results in Brian Sheffloss tagging Phil Hyde and collecting Celia Groves and Spencer Winnington as well. All of the cars would keep going. Matt Underwood pulled out to the lead on the restart, no surprise there. However, that white car back there is the 17 of Brett McCormick. As the race progressed, McCormick would slowly begin to close in on the 15. McCormick would catch a big break when the third caution of the day flew on lap 13. Frank Kielis is going to try to come into the pits to serve a penalty. He's going to tag Ethan Armstrong and they go hard into the wall! That is a solid concrete wall. The race would have to go under red flag while medical personnel assisted Kielis and Armstrong. Luckily, they checked out at the infield care center. On the restart, Brett McCormick would finally dislodge Matt Underwood from his lead, taking Eric Cross on the 5 with him. Cross might have been able to take advantage of this opportunity, but unfortunately, he was involved in the next caution. Cross is going to get tagged by the 57 of Edward West, he gets carried into the wall, goes back up the racetrack and gets hit by Grant Ambrose, and then Mark Chase. Ambrose and Chase would keep going, however, Cross was done. In the closing laps of the race, Hank Young would repeatedly run into Brett McCormick in an attempt to pass him. He would first do it coming out of the hairpin, and then he would do it again coming out of a mine shaft. McCormick would have an interesting discussion with Young in the garage area after the race. McCormick would not allow Young to rattle him, and he cruised on to the victory. Pole sitter Matt Underwood would finish third, Edward West in fourth, and Scott Green in fifth would be defending series champion Denny Baldacci. Seventh would be Thomas Crawford, who won more sportsman races than anybody else last year. Randall Phipps, who won last year's season opener Upside Down, came in eighth. And Celia Groves and Phil Hyde come back to finish ninth and tenth after that lap nine crash. Pole sitter for the Slug Oil Thunder Trucks All-Star would be the number 37, driven by defending series champion Bobby Tyrone. Tyrone got off to a great start, avoiding all the hectic three-wide racing that would happen right behind him. Jacob Gonzalez started second, the highest he's ever started in a Slug Oil Thunder Trucks race. However, he started riding the wall of the mine shaft and quickly dropped to the back. In the meantime, Freddie Baxter in the 8, powered by the 37 to take the lead early on in the going. However, just a few laps later, Baxter would slide up into the wall, handing the lead to Laura Cyrus in the 69. And then Eric Boyle in the 53 is going to challenge Cyrus for the lead. Cyrus slips into the wall, allowing Boyle to extend his lead by quite a bit. But Cyrus came back and took the lead as Eric Boyle himself runs into the wall. Caution 1 flew on lap 11. Coming out of the hairpin, Paul Reynolds is going to be spun by Damian Welch in the 43. He goes around and continues without a problem. Laura Cyrus continued to lead on the restart, and if you look to the left of your screen, you'll see Freddie Baxter attempting to take second from Bobby Tyrone on the outside. However, the inside line is going to be faster. Bobby Tyrone pulls to the left of Cyrus to take the lead, and Baxter falls to fourth. Caution 2 flew on lap 15. Freddie Baxter is going to make an attempt on Laura Cyrus. However, he gets a little too close, turns her into the inside wall. She slides back up the racetrack. Everybody misses her. Except for Patrick Brack and Jimmy Howard. Tough break for Cyrus in the 69, that was one of the best runs of her career. Once again, Freddie Baxter pulled to the outside on the restart. Once again, it does not work. That red car in second is Alex Baldwell in the 52. He is the younger brother of former Smash Beer League Stocks champion Ryan Baldwell. On lap 19, the caution would fly once again. Coming into the hairpin, George Palmer in the 25 is going to lose it, collecting Freddie Baxter and sending both cars into the wall. They would both keep going without a problem. 
Coming out of the hairpin, Jacob Gonzalez is going to get spun by Alex Baldwell in an unrelated incident. He would keep going. Just before the restart, Bobby Tyrone had his car die on him. He had to be towed to the pits, handing the lead to Eric Boyle. Second and third were Ronnie Benedict and Aaron Cruz. On lap 22, the fourth caution of the day flew. Watch Conan Simmons in the white 66 back there. He's going to tap Andy Bridges coming into the hairpin, and Bridges goes sliding into the wall. He would keep going without a problem. A few laps after the restart, Aaron Cruz took the lead from Eric Boyle. However, Boyle just took it right back. This would prove to be the pass of the race because Cruz was involved in the final caution of the day, which came out with just two laps to go. Cruz is going to come to the hairpin a little too fast. He slides his car up into the path of Ronnie Benedict, who adds insult to injury by turning Cruz sideways. The race would end under caution with Eric Boyle taking the victory. Conan Simmons in his first Thunder Truck Series start, coming in second. Paul Reynolds comes back from his lap 11 spin to finish third. Freddie Baxter recovers from his incident to finish sixth. Lonnie Adams quietly finishes in seventh. Ronnie Benedict and Aaron Cruz fall to eighth and ninth, respectively, and Andy Bridges rounds out the top ten. The next All Star races will be the Fat Burger Kid Grand National and the Smash Beer Elite Stocks. This is CJ, signing off.